Across the South this morning, the raging floodwaters may have faded, but the fallout from historic levels of rain and violent winds have left communities from Georgia to North Carolina virtually unlivable. We have got to rebuild everything. North Carolina now reporting at least 109 deaths. FEMA's administrator speaking to NBC's Lester Holt says there are still areas that are out of reach. What's the order of priority right now? It is still life safety. Uh, there's a lot of search and rescue teams here on the ground. The Swannanoa fire chief telling us replacing the water pipes and fixing the roads above them will require plenty of time. I was born and raised here. And uh, this is, uh, I don't think there's a word to describe it. I don't know how long this is going to take. And power is still a problem, too. The Carolinas and Georgia have some 700,000 customers in the dark as the National Weather Service released this stunning image from space. A day after Helene made landfall, a big swath of the region just black. This storm is easily the most destructive that I've seen. Bruce Hudson works for Skyfire AI, a company that uses advanced drone technology to help governments and even private companies track tough terrain. He gave us a first-hand look at the search for the missing in Burnsville, North Carolina. It looks like half the road has just been cut off mm -hmm. and it's just slid into the river. Yeah, and so that's mostly the problem that we're falling into is that not only can public safety not get to individuals, individuals can't even get out. On Thursday, President Biden continued to survey the damage, promising states will have the resources they need as heartbreak abounds. With every single wave, it's trying to wash away a memory. And a race that continues to find loved ones who remain unaccounted for. And look, it is hard, guys, to even fathom how difficult it would be to go through piles of debris like this in areas where they're only accessible by plane. But there is another explanation for why there are these wild swings in the number of missing people. The sheriff saying there are major communication gaps here as these county officials go door to door knocking to try to talk to folks. There's language barriers. In many cases, they're not clear how many people actually live in those homes and a large unhoused population in the Asheville area, making this really a moving target. Craig, back to you. Yep, Sam Brock for us there in Western North Carolina. Sam, thanks. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.